everybody just wanted to shoot a video talking about hacks and how to find deals in a market like we had today there's no secret um, for those of you who's who have been following the channel just recently you know updated you guys on the march data for panama city we currently have about 1.6 months of inventory on the market is scorching hot and with that there's a lot of there's a lot of competition in the market not enough houses for sale and so for those that's looking for deals to get started in real estate investing um, last time we talked about the realtor hat with working with a realtor in order to bring deals into your pipeline um, today we're going to talk about driving for dollars riding for dollars is a great way to find deals because a lot of times you know you're out and about in your car most of us everybody has a car and it's easy to do you know you can ride around it's free you don't have to worry about the cost of direct mail um, or google pay ads facebook ads or different you know other ways that you have to market and advertise you know but driving for dollars you know once you identify hey this is a hot zip code that people are buying in there's a lot of flip activity and i can shoot I'll shoot a free a video that shows you a free way using list source where you can find like the top zip codes in your city in order to identify areas where there's targeting a lot of flips and you probably know it already but you know I can share that with you as well but you know you're driving you're looking for one overgrown grass in the yard two newspapers piled up in the driveway three um, letters stuck inside the door the screen door um, or, you know, a piece of paper taped to the door, window, maybe a foreclosure, or it may be a home violation, a code enforcement violation. Or you can look at, you know, there, the, it looks dilapidated, you know, if it, the grass is overgrown and no cars are there, you might go peek in the window, see if anybody's living there. Uh, one way you can look, you can pull up on the curve and see the side of the house, you may be able to see if the power meter has been pulled out. The power, if it knows there's no power in the, on the house, then it's probably likely nobody's living there. Um, those are some of the ways that you can tell um, you can pull a list um, prop stream I use prop stream to one way and they have a vacant list where they pull data from a post office that can identify homes that have been vacant for a while so those are some of the hacks that I use in order to you know drive for dollars I don't do it as much now especially now that I'm virtually flipping out of Panama City and getting deals there and uh you know so there but there's a way if you're in the city and you're you're local hey drive for dollars you know look for those dilapidated houses don't be afraid to once you find one talk to the neighbors ask the neighbors the neighbors have all the tea they know what's going on they know what happened why they left they know who's owned it because they may have owned it forever and uh you know just you know don't owe any money on it and it's just sitting there and that's that presents the opportunity for the right uh motivated seller where you can come in and provide value and uh and cash them out and take it as is and you know and and take the deal down and uh for all my wholesalers i want to i want to work with you guys and just all my wholesalers you guys should be taking these deals the ones that's finding these deals you guys should be taking these deals down and building building up equity and uh you know that's that's the key where it's, a, the, it's cool to get the transactions but at, at some point you need to look and have the goal to transition to where you're becoming an investor and taking these deals down yourself that you're finding but this is a great strategy finding deals in this hot market is just looking for dilapidated vacant properties abandoned houses um once you get the abandoned house go find a tax assessor website for your county and uh, you should be able to type in the address and you can find out where the tax bill is being sent to and then once you find that tax bill the, the who the owner is and where the address is going hey just write down a handwritten note that uh straightforward hey i'm so and so i saw this house you know i would love to do it this is what i do we would love to buy it renovate it get another family in it you know help your cash buyer and you know and just tell your story be authentic you know and sign it and uh different ways you can put it in I, I, one of the things that we do when we handwrite notes we put it in a uh, envelope that is an a8 that's actually a um not gift card but a holiday card envelope whereas that it stands out let me see grab one of these but it stands out when you send this letter it's not just a normal chain letter or you know something that uh that you know they get spammed that they get in the mail that they were like okay i'm throwing this away but it looks like an actual card somebody sent them a card birthday card or whatever holiday card and um yeah and so you just fold your letter one time is when you're doing like 500 of these you just fold a letter one time instead of three times 
with a traditional eight and a half by 11 letter. So that saves time as well too. But yeah, Amazon Basics, A9, not A8, A9. But uh, you can get that off of Amazon. But yeah, that's one way to uh, just hand write that note. That letter is highly likely to get open, and um, yeah, and just be consistent with the follow-up once you find a deal. So just wanted to share that hack with you guys on how to find deals in this market. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, drop any comments if you got any other uh, questions about that, if you got any experience with actually driving for dollars that you have found to be successful. Um, that's always cool to see um, what, what you guys are doing. And then drop any other uh, hacks that you guys may uh may be using the field that could share with other people so i'll see you guys on the next video